From California State University, San Bernardino, it's Local Matters. Boxing and urban dancing. Hello, I'm Julie Ann Davis, and welcome to Local Matters, featuring stories from across the Inland Empire. And I'm Cesar Janin. From coach to boxer, the sport thrives on motivation and passion. Reporter Alec Zavala learns more on boxing. In boxing, fighters get all the spotlight, but we fail to recognize that trainers are part of their success. At this local boxing club, we have that dedicated trainer. I started boxing at 14 years old, and uh, when I decided to go to college, then I needed a part-time job, so I was offered the job here, and I've been doing it ever since. I've been doing it for 15 years now. Okay. Currently, few national champions, and then we actually have one uh, professional uh, athlete that was the national champion. They brought it out of this program, started boxing since he was eight years old here in our program. It started with the jump rope, 10 15 minutes of jump rope for warm up, then shadow box, shadow box, which is the working on their movement and, and uh, defense tactics are for three rounds, followed by heavy bags. Then we do focus mitts, which is we work more on techniques and new combinations. Those are on days that we're on sparring, and sparring is when they actually practice in the ring, when they go uh, contact with, uh, with sparring partners. AB, uh, he's a great trainer. He's a great mentor. I've been, uh, he's been my trainer for like five to ten years. Uh, he always pushes me. You know, he makes me laugh when it's time to laugh, and when it's time to work, we go to work. And um, he's just a great trainer. He knows his boxing, and that's all I need. It's never an easy day in this gym. Trainers play an important role in a boxer's life. For Local Matters, I'm Alex Zavala. Dancing is a way of expression that differs from words. Through movement, dancers can share their emotions and find joy. Reporter Estelle Aparango learns more from local dancers. Here at the heart of Victoria Gardens, local dancers from around the IE gather to practice their urban dance choreography routines as part of the growing dance community within the Enlin Empire. I had my first dance class in kindergarten, so that was like ballet, probably around like five. What inspired me was like watching different dance films, so like kind of like You Got Served, Stomp the Yard, the Step Up movies, I really liked those. And then I remember just watching America's Dis Best Dance Crew, it was a show on MTV. And then I really liked um, this crew called the Jabbawockees. I love to dance because I feel like it gives me this type of energy of like of expression where like I can't really say things but I'm able to move through my body and express it through that way. It's kind of cheesy but like that's literally why I love dancing. With being immersed with the Riverside Dance Community there's a lot of potential. You can train, there's so many free workshops that you can do. There's multiple dance studios you can even go to as well. Um, what inspires me creatively is kind of like my different life experiences. For example, um, when I'm feeling alone or like alone or something, you play a sim song. And so like I'm able to do that or like express myself. <laughs> Here in the Inland Empire, you can find a growing urban dance community in the most interesting of places. For Local Matters, I'm Estella Parango. To keep updated on what Local Matters is doing, follow our social media. To watch some of our other stories, head on over to our YouTube channel at Local Matters CSUSB. I'm Julie Ann Davis. And I'm Cesar Chen. Join us next time for more local stories that matter.